All right, so today we're gonna to be making a healthy chicken dinner. So we have some organic chicken, we have some spinach, red onion, broccoli, and a sweet potato. So we're gonna start with the chicken. We're gonna fry that up and add some red onion. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut some onion. I slice a little bit of the red onion a little bit. For the chicken, we're gonna just sprinkle some salt, a little pepper, some garlic powder, also 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. Here we're going to do both sides. We're going to add a little olive oil and we're going to fry it up. Next, we're going to add the red onion to get some flavor. Next, we're gonna saute some of the broccoli. Let me go ahead and sprinkle some of this 21 seasoned salute on the broccoli. Give it some flavor. Yum. All right, the broccoli looks good. All right, next we're gonna saute a handful of spinach. Now we're gonna add the sweet potatoes. I just cut them up a little bit like this. And add some 21 seasoning so they find these. All right, they look really good. All right, there we go. The chicken with the onions, the broccoli, the spinach, and the sweet potatoes. It looks amazing. All right, guys, moment of the truth. How, how would this taste? I found this from a YouTube video, by the way. Um, it was like, not an ordinary cooking video or cooking channel. The guy does like muscle training or how to build muscle, but he said, you know, do like a good five recipes in that video of like good, really low calorie, you know, um, dishes to build muscle, which I'm not what I really want to do. But this is how he had the first bite and I want to try how he did it. He, he put the onions and the chicken together, some onions and chicken. And then he also put it in the spinach. <laughs> so here is the first bite. Let's try it out. Mmm. That's very good. I never really, usually when I make this, well, I never saute spinach. It's actually really good though. You should just boil it. <laughs> I never saute broccoli either. I usually blow that. Good. Nice crunch. Really good. The potatoes. I usually don't make fries out of them. I usually just like bake them. I forgot, I think it's for 50 calories, but I'll, I'll leave it down in the description down below. Down the bottom, how many calories. Um, it's 
It's not much, but it's, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it could use a little more favor, flavor. <laughs> but it's really good. It's still really good, actually. <laughs> it's healthy. I like this with the red onion. Oh, and the spinach, too. Mmm. Mmm. So in this video, I did want to talk about something. I haven't really talked about it a lot. Maybe one time, but very briefly. I'm getting a lot of comments lately that I'm not pronouncing things right. And I thought I would talk about that. There's a reason that I haven't really talked about on this channel. So I probably will tell you the reason. <laughs> I'll go more in detail about it. But basically, when I was, uh, when I was born, I was a newborn. And I stopped breathing twice. Um, I know my dad said that he prayed for me and he, he doesn't really believe, but he doesn't, he, he doesn't pray. I, I never, I mean, he never, he passed, so he never prayed, he never prayed like, but he was really scared that I was going to die. I did make it. My mom was like, Hey, let's have a party. She made it. Uh, doctor was like, let's wait, let's wait on that. You know, let's, let's see what happens. He wasn't sure what was going to happen with me. So I had a lot of issues with talking. I didn't talk until I was two years old and that's pretty long to talk. Um, and even then I, I barely talked to. I also had cerebral palsy um, as well. And doctor didn't think I wasn't, I don't know. Yeah. I had a lot of trouble talking. I slurred my words. I didn't talk right. And it took me a while to over, I did over, overcome that obviously. I mean, I am talking now, <laughs> but back then I had a, a huge talking problem. I went to speech therapy when I was young, so I can, the speech therapist was, was trying to tell me to talk more or get me to talk. And I wasn't talking. My mom and my, my dad were concerned about me, you know, about my life and what would happen. If I told you this, but the doctor did say I had brain damage. That's my mom. Other day, and she was like, "Karen, I'm I'm just really proud of you. You you, you accomplished so much, you know." And I'm thinking, I didn't really accomplish, I feel like I didn't accomplish a lot in life, you know, I don't, my jobs are just minimum paying jobs. <laughs> oh I don't think I accomplished a lot, but my mom says I did, I have. Maybe because I grew out of my shyness and I grew out of, I was able to talk more. So I was talking to her about, you know, you know, that I received comments about, I cannot pronounce words sometimes, not, not everywhere, but sometimes I cannot pronounce words. And she's like, what's the big deal? You just, and my mom was like, well, have you always done that? I'm like, yeah, I think I have. I think I've gotten worse though over the years. So maybe I'm getting back. I hope I'm not getting back to where I was. But that's just, that's probably why I'm just giving you guys an explanation there's a reason why I don't pronounce things correctly. I just, my brain doesn't process it. Because of that, I was in special ed until I think sixth grade, I think. So I wasn't really talking and the teachers were just, doesn't, didn't really know what was wrong with me and so I went to speech therapy. That didn't really help that much. And I, my mom just said, I just, I, I eventually, I just eventually grew out of, got a, grew out of that. Well, thankfully, right. <laughs> but sometimes I have a hard time. I, I'm emotional. 
it just, I don't know. I'm just getting, sometimes I get really, I want people to really like me. I was telling my nephew the other day, I can't pronounce El Polo Loco. I used to say El Polo Loco. No, it's El Pollo Loco. Oh, El Pollo. Okay. And for years, I used to pronounce hummus, humus. I don't know why. And she's like, she, my mom was like, well, just, just, just know what you did it wrong and just learn it. And yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> It's a little story time for you guys. I haven't really talked about that. Um, but I thought I would mention it. I mean, I don't really have a lot of... People want me to do story times, but there's nothing really exciting in my life. But I do remember that. So I did start reading twice. But if you want to know... I went to a psychic about it. And she says... This is what she says. There's a, there's a reason why I stopped reading twice. She told me that I didn't want to come into this world because I guess in that past life I was a healer and they cut my hands off. And maybe that's why I wasn't talking for a while. I really don't know, but and I'm not going to say she was right or wrong, but I thought, I thought that was very interesting. But now, I love talking. I'll tell you, I want to back at Walmart. I don't know if you saw my last video. I'm working at back at Walmart again, my old job. I just miss my coworkers. I mean, my coworkers, I tell them I'm coming back. They're so excited to see me. They want me to come back so bad. And I, I do miss them a lot. And I also miss cashiering. I know that might sound strange. I just miss talking to people. As I cashier, you can have some really small conversations. I told a few a few customers about my YouTube channel, and it's just really nice to talk to people. <laughs> It'll be good on this. It's Monterey cheese melted <laughs> with spinach. Mm. But this is a healthy meal. I wanted to try a recipe from this channel. And usually, when I try you know, the recipe from the other YouTube channel, I, I'll let them know. And I did that one time when this guy was making steak. And he subscribed to me. Thank you if you're watching. I don't know if you are not. He subscribed to me and commented, and I love when people comment when I do something, when I try the recipes or whatever. I love this guy, no. <laughs> but he has almost 4 million subscribers. I doubt he's going to respond to me. You never know. <laughs> If he does, I'll pin the comment. <laughs> very good. It's also very light. Oh. We're good. I love spinach. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. 
So back to the guy that did this recipe on YouTube. Um, so he has, I think, only one or two videos on recipes. But this particular video, all of them look really good. He did five. He did two different taco recipes that I might want to try. And another chicken one that was very similar to this one. I might want to try that one too. Um, because this is pretty good. The only thing I didn't do that he did, I didn't think about it. I don't know if it makes a lot of difference, but maybe it does. I, I use olive oil. Um, and he used an avocado spray. You know, like sprayed on the pan. So saute it. And I'm wondering, he said it was zero calories, so... I wonder if that would have been better. I don't know. All right, guys, that was so good. Mm, yummy. I feel so satisfied. So I might make the taco video next. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you the link in the description. If you can see this video, you can. You can see what he, what kind of videos he does, like this video, of the cooking video. So I think I might want to try one of his taco ones. Maybe he did one with turkey and one with chicken. I might try the turkey one first. Maybe I'll switch it up a little bit. Try different tacos, you know. But if you have any healthy ideas for videos, I'm trying to stay away from pasta and bread right now. Um, I might use. I might do a little bread and pasta after a month or six months but for the first month I just want to do low carb I also want to do my Filipino videos but that's on hold right now just to get my health back on track but I'm definitely feeling better I, I feel less bloated I have more energy my I'm clear more and more clear-minded I feel lighter like I feel like I lost some weight especially on my thighs it's kind of what I kind of noticed but yeah I'm right now I wanted to stick with low carb food so no pasta um i might i think i might do like low carb tacos like the low carb tortillas i think i might do that every so but not like just like maybe once a week or so that'll be okay all right guys thanks for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next video peace